Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. Today, we're gonna play with some research. Right there. It turns out that when we went back to that island with the cave down below and found some of that Mictar, Mictar? Mictar fiber, we found enough to get past the threshold of 50. What's odd though is having it in the basket has showed 0 50, so apparently you have to have it on you to use this bench. But let's see what happens. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Alright, what did that do? It gave us a brewing lab. And Mictor fungicide discovered. A weak weapon coating that can be made in a brewing lab. Provides research samples from slain enemies and deals more damage to them. Oh, interesting. So we coat our blade with it and then that gives us maybe these? That's possible. And what was the little addition we got there? The brewing lab, a small lab station to brew mixtures and other concoctions to add to the research lab I need two linen okay linen is where I was going to go next I cleared out the or, uh, harvested the flax so we've got ran that through the flax break let's put this into here and make some linen grab two of them just for today's purposes in fact let's grab all that let's put five in here oh get back here now it says add ten so it's kind of random I can't just add one anymore can I take away one? no <laughs> so if I want five I'm out of luck <laughs> alright we'll just run this through manually for a little bit and F there we go take you all back now we'll let the rest run through here and just make a bunch of linen. Anyway, let's run back down here and see what the next stage of the research lab is. So you go there. I can't choose which side either. And it takes windstones as well. Interesting. So build you. So I take it there's another one that's going to form onto this side. You take milk. Okay, add one, plus, interesting, are these the only ones that qualify, or are they the only ones that happen to be on me? Milk plus potato equals something. <laughs> okay, take you back. What does, well, I guess we'll take that. What does milk plus... Um, onion or garlic it gives us a something no stop that and is there a difference milk plus carrot okay let's see what's in our bag nope they're all the same thing uh, that's the fungicide can be applied on an upgrade station okay uh, Deal slightly more damage to corrupted monsters and gather intact samples from them. So I can't actually use it till I get an upgrade station. Hmm. Okay. Well, we need ourselves a basket, don't we? Can I just build it? Do I have five rope in, in storage? I guess I can go with the other kind of basket. Yeah, I could do that. And maybe eventually we'll get cabinets with storage capability rather than these little basket things. Um, in fact, for that matter, let's just... Is there anything? Uh, maybe the upgrade station goes here. Okay, we'll go here with it. So build you, those guys, and we'll just drop one of you right there. Actually, that takes ten of them. They all take ten. Okay, so we'll, we'll use the bigger one. Through the wall is about like that, so there. And in you we will put 
these guys and we'll put those guys there too that's all research okay there's our five ropes so otherwise I have a few other things to show you all that we spent let's see ropes you go over here um why is that not highlighted try that you got to get really close to activate these these uh pallets drop you in there you are poo we'll go up and deal with the poo um everything that we did last episode with the planters down below well disregard that i uh, i threw that all out <laughs> it was last episode just didn't feel right to me it was well let's just try this and try that and and it didn't uh, come across as the final plan it's what I would have done just sitting here trying it and throwing it away and trying it and throwing it away so I got rid of that and did something different over there but I also got to exploring these little fences because these guys were going everywhere and their eggs were going everywhere so I needed to find a way to corral them in and that's how I did it. Put these fences around, and it seems to work. Well, I, I think. Let me get to where I've got all these collected so I can move my eyes to somewhere else. I think we're good. Unfortunately, there's no gate version of this, so I still have, now I have to hop the fences. But are there any other pheasants around? I don't remember how many we've got, so I can't just do a head count. So and I don't know if any have ever flown off the island <laughs> they don't fly they hop really creatively but they don't seem to fly so nobody's hiding in here no other stray eggs and nobody's in the pond anymore kept getting goats stuck in the pond too so all right so we need to build a pen and it needs to be big enough for me to walk in to get the eggs but small enough for them to go through little Oh, little coop doors. Boy, that's getting loud. Wendy. So, that we're going to do, but I want to show you something. I was trying to figure out where best to build pastures for animals. And I really wanted the gazebo here. And for the goats to take over this area, that just didn't seem like the right thing. And that's kind of too small over there. And there is the pasture over here that might be a a pasture as well meaning this space right here is quite large so it could be it right in this area whether that's a sheep pasture or what I'm not sure yet but there was one area that actually worked really well as a pasture and I got to thinking I built a bunch of planters there but that's really where the goats need to be yeah that's a big pasture land so i have repurposed it collected all of the the uh garlic and all of the flax now goats need to be corralled in but i don't want to have to hop all these fences so i figure if i put a real door at one point then i can keep them out and we'll do a real door over here on our way out to our boarding dock and that's just how it'll work and this keeps all the the poo all of the future soil where I can find it and no oh, hello Margaret how you doing yep <laughs> get down <laughs> just leapt into my arms there uh, right there and if you get them close enough to each other then they uh, they all gather at once and I learned something. I was trying to figure out... Here's our, our uh, little uh, Amari, who has grown up. I'm trying to figure out how to get the pheasants to go into the pheasant coop when I build it. And I learned how. You feed them. These guys equal 10 hay. They build into stacks like that. You feed them. And you sit back, and soon they all come running in, at least the hungry ones. And when I first did this, I had a whole shed full of goats. 
in here all eating. I put hay in both of them and they all came in. So I can use that to get the pheasants to head into the coop and hopefully lay eggs in there like they're supposed to. Alright, let's get in here where it's a little bit quieter. And actually, pretty much everything else I wanted to do was outside today. And it is so hard to yell over the sounds of the storm. So I'm going to go up and sleep a couple times and get us into a nice bright sunny day. Alright, well that's better. It's still the same day. Um, it's still raining, but the, the brunt of it is gone. I did put in the little door here in the bedroom. So now I can just pop out and see what's going on out there. But there is something else that I needed to do. This island that we were just at last time. I... Whoa! We're here! We're here! Stop! <laughs> uh, with the two pheasants on top. I came out here looking for anything that I could hit with the scythe to make more of that hay down there in the in the uh, goat pen. Hello! Eggs. And as I was looking around, something startled me. I was actually over here. I've since dropped, moved them because I couldn't find them anymore. Thinking maybe it was better down here. But I was moving around and yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them now. That little chirping that we've been hearing was Connor. He's a little guy. Look at this little dude. So I fed him. And I've been searching this island to see if there's a second one. I don't know what he is. It's like a little... He's got a, a squeal like a falcon. Let's see if I can feed him. I'm thinking of falcon. What do you think? So, pet him. Yeah, so we need to bring Connor home. We really do. That's a bit of a dangerous thing right now. Where, where's my ramp at? Yeah, here we go, little buddy. Oh, good boy. That was close. Almost lost him. So <laughs> maybe if I had, well, if I had flipped out the glider, maybe he would have. Th throwing himself onto the deck. Yeah, there's got to be a better way to move from island to island. Actually, there is. There's talk about a uh, uh, something being added to the glider for animal transport, or either talk about it or there was suggestions. I'm not sure, but I was looking at the Discord, and that is a conversation that's happening because this is a little wonky, the current system. Where did we put a Connor? I feel like he's going to be a little um, overwhelmed in a pheasant pen. But he's going to get lost out here by himself. So, does Connor live inside? I don't know. Open fireplaces? Hmm. I'm not sure where Connor lives. Got any thoughts? Let me know. For now, I guess I can just kind of leave him in here and see what he thinks. Yeah, maybe you can hop up on the window and look around. So, there's no doorway here, so he can roam around freely. So, let me know what what should we do with Connor? It'd be great if we can find another one. And as tiny as he was, when he was in the deep uh, grass, I could barely see his head. So, it's possible that we have seen a few of those and not known it. So now I will be very much aware of that. You gotta look straight down. And his head was, you know, as tall as that grass right there. And it was in a big clump of grass, and I wait, what? What? Oh. <laughs> so it was yeah, I was just doing some miscellaneous things. Anyway, we need to build another shed like this one. Oh, there's one other thing. I, maybe you guys noticed, but I forgot to point it out. They are curtains. <laughs> this right here, I could not figure out what it was. Long leaf cloth. I'll show you how that works. So we'll delete that one. You give it four points of contact and it does the rest. Connect you there and like right 
there and maybe right down there and right down in there and it forms this sort of a thing which is backwards I guess the order you do it makes a difference interesting okay we'll go up go away there you go we'll go up there and out here first and then there and then no that's not it either hmm well there try it one more time so how did I do it the first time I always started there I'm pretty sure it went there huh let's go out here no that's not it Okay, I broke it. Um, are you? Yeah. One more time. Let's go there. 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 Nope, each one of these is going to be different. Well, that works for now. Yeah. I see I've got the diagonal going long. That's how I did it. I went here. Out the diagonal. Then I curved it back. And I went back to here. That kind of looks like it. I wish there was a fifth point. Wish I could connect it up here and just kind of block this area off. Hmm. We'll have to experiment with that more. But that's how that works. We can create curtains with it. And rugs. Rugs. Let's go see that. <laughs> Let's go put a rug in the bedroom. Then we'll get back to doing more important things <laughs> which gives you reason to make lots and lots of that cloth hey Connor all right so let's build you from there to there to there to there that didn't work oh it's waving in the wind okay rugs don't work oh not you Okay, don't fall in the hole, Connor. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me seal that up. Wait a minute. No! Okay. Whew. It's backwards. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Let's go think about a bird pen. So, like the goat pen, something that I can walk into... Maybe a door right here that has a way in and out, and then a place for the birds to come into that area. I'm thinking little little openings the size of these. That they'll all come in and go to the feeder. So probably need to eliminate some obstacles in here to make this work. So, for starters, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you guys. I'm not hitting those marks at all this time. And let's get rid of you. And let's take down probably this one tree. Give us some more space in here. So, two. And for the most part, standing behind where you want it to fall is where it falls so I'm gonna need you to move over here thank you and you to move over here good like that nope watch out it's falling tree everywhere all right grab a yeah, that tool. <laughs> a door kip. I had kibbutz in my mind. That's not it. Um, a pickaxe. That gives us more building space. All right. Let's put some soil back in. I uh, probably don't have any soil on me. Okay. Well, we'll f we can fix that later. 
I want you to go away. There we go. So, I guess for now it would make sense either there or here, probably here, to drop a Dorian. Make that part of the structure. And maybe build the structure... Boy, I wish I could... I wish this wasn't coming in the center. That would make it easier. If I came in here... Yeah, that would make it easier. Okay, you go away. Um, let's drop you over there. Grab these ahead of time, because they, uh, they're free wood, and they go away as soon as the branches land. So you don't get credit for it. Hello. You catch that lower one as it shoots over your head. You uh, get some benefit out of it. Oops, hit a tree there. Okay, another you. And you have to go as well. Okay. And we'll put the the pen right in this area. Three, two. So this time I have a little more clue of what I'm doing. Yesterday I just felt like I was floundering around without a plan. I don't like doing that. But it, it was what it was back here. I don't know where the gardens are going to go at this point, but I don't know where the animals are going to go, and I just got to take this one step at a time. So this area all goes away. B, um, I guess we'll go with stairs. All of this goes away. You can stay for now. And the stairs need to come down. Let's take you out as well. Need to come down right into the pen. What is with this fog? Oh, that drives me nuts. I mean, yeah, it's kind of, uh, you know, it adds to the aesthetic and all, but it does make it hard to see. Turn you on and turn you off. Hmm. Doesn't help. So it's a different fog. So can I change weather effects? Texture high. It seems to do it real time. Okay. Shadows. It does do it real time. Okay. Reflections. Render distance. Cloud render distance. Ah. Well, that's helping. Very low. Low. Whoa. Don't know what I just did, but that's what I'm looking for. That felt kind of random. Like it just gave up. <laughs> um, let's... Boy, I wish I could clear these guys out without leaving a bald spot, but I don't know how to do that. But I want to walk down this without having that in my face. I can clear these out. Um, seven. And get some small plants out of that. You guys, I can't. Okay, so stairs. Dropping in. Rotate around. Automatic. And what? I mean, this is the most lo logical place right where I had it. I've got kind of a corner. I can't do anything with this, right? No, I'm stuck with it. I could just come right off of it, though, and, and build a... Yeah, I could kind of ramp into it so that it... Well, the corner's going to be in the staircase, though. Hmm. How to deal with that? Let's see. As soon as I build in... Let's go to a bigger one. Yeah. Um, although, I don't know if I can lower it down. Let's, we'll play with things here. What do I want? You right there. And let's go to manual... And let's rotate there. Now we've got the top of it instead of the bottom of it. So again, that flexibility. Let's rotate it again. I can come off this side. Do something like that. Although it goes way into the ground, so it might not let me put a floor space here because it goes so far into the ground. Right? Uh, go back to auto. Yeah, it won't let me put the floor in now. Uh, manual. Rotate. I just have to float it on top. Yeah, 
it knows there's something built under there. So that doesn't work. Okay. So, staircase, you go away. And let's put flooring in first. And we'll work up from there. Maybe that's the answer. Uh, build. You. And auto, so I can see it better. There we go. Nope, it's got to be manual. So I can get it down lower. So in that case, let's roll it around so I can... I guess... Now there is no easy answer here. I want you kind of inside. And then let's rotate you to match the fence. Okay, so if you're inside, let's go too wide. Can I get any lower? Not really, but I can do... Actually, I can get rid of the fence. Oops, I needed that. I can use you to eliminate the fence. That way I can build it even further this way. So let's do that. That's better. Um, foundation piece for the first one, so it looks right. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to be there. Can I go into the rock? I can. So there. And... And it got dark. Unbelievable. <laughs> There's some quick editing and the sun's up. <laughs> anyway, they stayed in their pen? Really? Well, at least these did. Who else escaped? Anyway, so let's continue working on this. Flooring. Did I lose the flooring into the ground here? I think I did. Let's see, can I find a click point? Am I just too low? I think I'm too low to continue on. Um, seven. Don't want to clear all of it out, but I want enough to be able to see. But yeah, I guess you've got to go. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm too low. I don't think it'll let me build anymore. Try one more time. Okay, I can go that way. Now, if I go to manual... Am I missing something? It looks like it's there. It's building right over the top of the other one. Uh, roll you out that way. Oh, now you'll work. Okay, roll you into there. And go to that point. Ah, I'm clicking and nothing happens. Okay, I am too low. Alright, so I can't get ground level here. That's what I needed to know. Foundation, destroy you guys. Let's kick you up a little bit. So manual is actually under the ground now. Let's go to... It's got to be low though so they can get up. Yeah. So roll your mouse around a bit. So we'll build it up intentionally about like that. And into the rock a little. No, nope, that's as far as you're going to go. Now roll you around, snap you to there. And around, snap you to there, and around to there. Okay, that was painful. Let's get this guy built and see where we go from here. I'm thinking a somehow a door in and a door out with chicken coop holes over here and feeders over there. I think that's the route I'm going. Unless I want to come in from this side. Huh. I could even come in from up here, actually. This could be multi-leveled. Hmm. So if I popped you... Okay, let's go back to automatic. There we go. In there. And then, how do we transition up, though? That's what I'm having a hard time picturing. I can't put a door at that level. Let's build some walls so I can kind of see what's going on here a little bit better. Right there. And... You're a diagonal. Okay, so you are there, unless the door is there. 
and I'm thinking diagonal down let's see let's put in a half wall so turn you around and make you a two there we'll triangle that one and you go manual to the middle nope you go small so you're there and then there just one entrance okay and tr if I triangle down let's see that one E auto a ah, little triangle okay right there oh okay a little triangle hmm not what I was picturing I guess it would work though but I can't put the door there. The door's got to be here. But I could deck out from there. Okay. So you're going to be there. Hmm. Okay. It's a little wall. There. That lets us triangle back up. like so now that may all have to change if I somehow get the door from up here down into there but the thought was let's build this so far so we can kind of picture this okay so maybe a grass roof here just at bird height and then a grass roof here and build those so that this is the entrance I unfortunately I can't really make a round opening or anything like that that I'm aware of they'll come in there I don't have to because I'll door out here or somewhere or we could have two entrances maybe that's what I'm doing wrong I'm trying to create a pathway through like the goats hmm so if I just have a one man door going in here and let the bird door be there and all that good and then put the gate back in here I don't know if they can go upstairs I'm sure they can fall downstairs but I don't know if they can go upstairs so let's put the stairs back in and just wait a few days and see what happens there you could go back to being here but I wish I could raise this up a little um, yeah how best to do that let's put a floor in first and maybe it'll sit on that so manual like that and then auto and stairs can I make that that's too high okay so you back to manual and drop lower than that can I get you lower uh, not really. Mm. Stairs are tough. They are. Although this one, I could use the bigger stairs. Okay, that's a way to get around it. So three like that, and then manual you down like that. Then I can raise it up. But it's the same problem. I can't make it come out in a way. It's still stuck to a point inside that rock. Yeah. Is there another way to make this happen? Hmm. Can I get a floor into there? That's how I'll do it. Okay, from there, like that. Rotated how? Well, we'll just see if it works. Set you in there, and then stare to that. And then, well, let's build it, see what it looks like. 
it's a little bit high. I can put the long stair on that. Nope, back one. There. There. Now I, yeah, that works okay. Then I can even get rid of this if I wanted to. Nope, I don't want to. <laughs> There's, it's not rotated right. I'll come back and fix that after the episode's done. But I just wanted to see this happen. So we could walk in here to the pen and then here to the eggs and the feed. Okay, so I don't have to make this all happen in the same step. Now, how best to pull this off? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. It's, it involves half walls, I'm pretty sure of that. So, automatic, there. So I gotta get this height up a bit. At least at this point and into here far enough for me to step down. Don't know if it has to be the whole structure, but it could be. Uh, I want Q. Yeah, it might that might work. Where are you? Right there. Right there. I think it might look interesting, and then a, 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 a an Eve coming off of that over this one, and then maybe Eve's coming off of this. I don't know if it'll be too low. You know, another one of these diagonals coming off of here might block it, so they can't get in. Okay, but that's the beginning there. If I put in a half wall here, like so, snap to the floor or snap to you right there. Okay, then I could stair off of that and floor off of that. And that gives me a level over there to run a staircase off. Okay, see, I can't envision this well at the very beginning, but if I take the time to just delete and try it and delete and try it and delete and try it eventually, it happens. But to do that in a video means there's 45 minutes of me going, um... So, in that case, if you went away, and what? A triangular floor went in here instead. Then, stare down. Nope, got to manual that one. Yeah, the triangle, that side of the triangle is bigger. So we'll do that one, we'll do that one, and keep moving through to the skinny tall, right there, and you'll pop in next to it. There. That gives us a triangle, one and a half. Something like that. So now we're up, and build, um, yeah, build archway. And you go back to auto, right there. And let's just do a more standard. I can't move to look up, unfortunately. Let's do that guy, right there. I think we're, I think we're getting there. Okay, the door is going to be a problem though, because that door is going to open in right where I need to turn. It's going to stop me. So we need to go with a single door. And I need it to hinge at this wall. So, how does that work? Um, build archway, get rid of you, and rotate you around. If I do that, where does the door come in? Which side? Guess we'll find out. Um, hey, dude. <laughs> Pop over here, door. Wrong side. Okay. So build arch, get rid of you, and put you right here, and door. Still the wrong side. 
I need the hinge over there. It just naturally wants to hinge in that direction, whatever that is. And hello, fog. Okay, so let's get rid of you again. Try this one more time from this side, see if that makes a difference. So there. Let's see, I got one other thing to try, what we did in Sunken Land. Uh, build the door. Nope, that worked. No, it didn't. Hinges here in the middle. I need it on that side. So let's delete you, build you, and this time rotate you. And now see if the door grabs that wall. There we go. It, it is a thing. You've got to rotate it around. Okay, what was that noise? That was weird. And build wall right there. Rotate. And then what for the roof? From here. From here, let's try something like this. Build. We're getting dark again, aren't we? We are. Well, I just jumped into bed to make the sun come back, and Connor's growing up. Yeah. Hey, dude, you, you might be hungry. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah. So, what do we do with Connor? Let's pick you up and think about things. Yeah. Um, let's drop here. Connor, I wonder if you would stick around if I just let you loose. Where is loose? Hmm. And that smoke coming out of the roof there reminds me we've got a real fireplace to build. Um, let's just put you loose out here in the gazebo area and see where you end up on your own. You'll stay on the island. I just don't, war don't know where I'll find you later. And feeding you doesn't seem to do much. I guess you're not gonna lay eggs so you just you just walk around and look good okay I was gonna race back over here but Connor caught my attention I wonder if there are more Connors out there and what is a Connor is he an albino falcon I'll go with that yeah so build you and what I was thinking of was a gabled roof on this all right, so you found it. Yeah, you did. That door is going to be hard. Yeah, so a gabled roof. Um, build you and manual you so I can get you in the middle. Is that even possible? It might not be. Yeah, you just shoot through. Um, if I roll it around. No. Nope. Okay, I'm going to have to go with half roofs. So, maybe just do one. See if I do you. Ah. Okay, I can do that, that, and out front. Come on, give me one more. Guess I got to go automatic for that one. There. Then I could do the big one. There. And... I had you. Where are you? There. And then, same thing over here. Except you got to be able to see it to do it. Or at least see the very first one, right there. Now I've got something to grab onto. There. There. So, what does that look like? Looks different. I wish there were shorter versions of these. Yeah, that is kind of odd. I now know how to turn the door. Okay. So, in that case, build you there. And let's put the door in that space. Okay. So, you go away, you go away, you go away. Oh, I lost the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, behave, guys. Turn you twice and make you half. 
You're right there. Let's put a door in that space instead. Build you and... See, I don't know where to rotate to. Is it this one or is it the other one? <clears throat> other one. Okay. Build you. Where are you? Right there. And E, E, and then small. Nope. That one. And then door. There we go. Now it hinges the right way so I can get in. And I think it might look better there. Might. Hmm. So another one of these. Build grass angle and rotate and one. And one again. Oh, the, we do get smaller ones. Okay. Okay, can I pop you in? I can. So you're going there. That looks a lot better. And then two. Three. Oh, you built down low. Well, that's a little different. Let's just see what it looks like. Maybe I discovered something good. Okay. From a distance, that's looking pretty good. These guys can get in from here. So let's do that same kind of a thing. You, one, one, one. No, nope. right there. So you're there, you're there. And I'm not quite sure what to do there. I guess we can do that. And there probably should be eaves on the sides too, but I won't do that this time. And we need a triangle up in there. And But it's getting stormy and loud again. So let's... Yeah, I wish I could tone down the weather effects just to make recording videos a lot better. I feel like I'm having to yell over the top of all this. But that's the idea. Right there. We need to build you. Yeah. Right there. Let's go inside and see what this looks like. Kind of. Now, getting up into here is there a problem? Um, you're trying to get up there. I may self-defense this, I don't know. But pop into you. Right there. Something's wrong there? Nope, they're all in the right direction. Okay. Oh, it's nice and quiet in here. Let's build this guy feed there. Or there. I think I like that better. Now, there isn't a bulk storage for feed, but I guess I can put a basket in here. Yeah, I can put a basket right there. <clears throat> so you're here. And I can toss the feed in. And let's see if they can make their way in. Oh, well, you made your way out. Yeah, they all think the feed's from this side. Oh boy, we got a problem. We got a problem. They can climb stairs. Oh boy. <laughs> you figured out how to get in. No, you can't. Okay, interesting. Let's give you a staircase. Tiny little staircase. There. And turn. And manual. And roll the mouse in there. Did you make it in? There you go. So we're going to have to put, unfortunately, at least for now until I figure out a better way, uh, manual you into there. And I guess drop you. Hmm. Like that. And auto. No, we'll just do it this way. Roll the mouse. There. And one. One. And 
rotate a few times. There. Okay, let's go find some, some stray pheasants. Come on, guys. Where'd you go? There's one. Not collect. Pick up. Dude. Why can't I pick you up? Where are the rest of them? <laughs> oh, they can get into the water here. Okay. So did the rest come back around? How many we got in here? There's a bunch of them. They know where the food is. And I'm going to have a hard time finding this door. Okay, so how do I get you out of the water? I can only collect and you're stuck. Yeah. Maybe I better go get some food on me. Oh, speaking of food, I was messing around with bird food and it finally dawned on me what I was looking at. I thought I was putting vegetables into this thing. I'm not. I'm putting seeds into this thing. So in that case, we're going to use wheat. Um, pull you back and let's put a, a 10 count in there. There we go. So, yeah, it's it's the seeds we're losing when I make the, the bird feed. Hmm. Let's speed you up a bit. There we go. Grab you, and let's see if I get a better interaction with this one lost pheasant if I have feet on me. Where am I going? All right, little dude. Can I feed you yet? I cannot. Can I push you? Nope, we don't. No hitbox. I can collect water. Uh, if I go directly over the top of you. No. And no interaction at all. Well, that's a shame. So... Maybe I can get you up here if I put another feeder out. Because I can't pick you up. Don't, don't, no, no. Micah, no. Get over here. Get over there. Knock it off. One more try? No, nothing changed. Come on, follow me. Alright, let's build another feeder. Temporary one. Um, what do I want here? Build, plant, feeder, drop, and open. And let's just put... Am I not seeing it? Did I make flour? I made flour. Ah, uh, okay. So flour doesn't make bird seed. Yeah. So I guess seeds make bird seed. So I'll sacrifice some pumpkin seeds. <laughs> All right, give me 10 of these. Yeah. So I wonder if this is the best thing to make seed out of. Is that, is that what's going on? Hmm. All right, so let's speed this up. F, F, U, 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 missed. And one more. Okay. Grab you. Try this again. I really thought I had bird seed on me. I did. Okay. Can I interact with you now? I cannot. Alright. So let's put bird seed in here. And I guess we'll drop all ten in. Well, let's split the stack. Put you in there. Okay. Does that call you out in that the others have already eaten? Do you need to eat? You do not need to eat. You do. But is there still a feed in here? Are you still being attracted to this one? There is. Pull you back. Okay. Grab the eggs. Those. Okay. That's... The idea is working. There's no feed in here anymore. There you go. Now you know where the feed is. All right, let's put a fence in here. Build. You over fence. Well, railing. And manual. And E. Something like... Where are you? Snap on you? Sure, we'll do that. 
though. I'll stick you in there just to make sure it works. Can they jump that? I don't know. We just know that they can climb. Uh, they can climb stairs. All right. So you guys happy? I saw another feather. One of these days I'm gonna make arrows. Kind of forgot all about that. Got you. So you suggest uh, Connor. Interesting. <laughs> How'd that happen? Okay, Connor. Yeah. Connor found his way in. Okay, so grab you, trash you, and I have soil on me. Five. It won't let me replenish. Ah, destroy it and it will. I guess it would have grown back because there were other bald spots in here and they, they came back. Okay. I Now, I did do that one intentionally and it did not grow back. Okay. Is it dark again already? You're kidding me. I've been going for an hour already? You're kidding me. Oh, I had a list. I had things to get done. How does so much time go by if so little get finished? Yeah. Fireplace. Uh, milk goats. Mmm. Okay. Drop you in here. Six. Okay. Let's play the fireplace. Can I do both? Build. Fireplace was in plants for some reason. Yeah. Nope, I can't do both. Okay, let's go make it daytime. Ah, much better. Okay, so build fireplace. Oh, that's big. Yeah, and that is manual, so it's not going to let me just sink it in. Hmm, new plan. Oh, it goes at a nice diagonal too, kind of. But that doesn't really work either. Where does the fireplace go? Let's spin you around. Let's snap it to something. There. So you are parallel with the room. Oh, manual auto. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Okay. Q. There. So if it was going to go in that space, it'd be like that. Because it's landing on the floor. I can make it go there. Ooh. Now, question is, where is that doorway up above? If I do... No. Well, let me click. I can click here. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but that's in the doorway? No, it's not. It is right here. Okay. So let's think about pulling you out of there. And... Build a chimney there, there. What happens there? Okay. Now, what I wondered about is if I could get away with doing something like that. Build you, pull that out, put that there. I mean, it, it doesn't know that there isn't a chimney there. It's just where the the fire is going to go. I guess I could build you inside of there. Let's try that. Just so that it looks like it finishes, it hits the ceiling here. Okay, they'll build inside of each other. Can I still light a fire in that? Uh, E. Okay, it looks a little funny, but it works. And then... Wow, that's noisy. <laughs> Here's a forest fire going on in here. Nope. Build you. There. And there. And let's go up and see what that looks like. There's no smoke. Really? There's no smoke. Oh, we got ripped off. Yeah. And wow, that is noisy. <laughs> yeah. 
we may have to do without fire on this level. So I gotta be able to function in here. Alright, so build you cancel and let's just put you in place. But still as noisy. Hmm. Can I extinguish? I can only feed it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to find the, uh, the sound slider that interacts with that guy. So, what else was I going to do? I had one, I had two more things on the list. One of them was go and invade that other island over there, wherever that went. Uh, that didn't work. Yeah, I was going to head there. I guess that's next episode. Otherwise, I was going to build a hobbit door over here. So we can finish with that. Then I'll go through and clean some things up after the episode's over and think about where the gardens are going to land. But I made a comment a couple episodes ago. This would look great as a hobbit door, and I think it needs to be done. So build you. And wow, there's a lot of noise in this game now. There really is. You... Uh, not manual, auto and rotate and move you that way. That just seems like the right thing to do. Right there. Look at that. Hmm. What about the window? The hobbit window. Hmm. Well, we gotta save something for next time. So let's get where it's not so noisy. Oh, here comes the storm and all its noise. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, let's head down to the goats and say goodbye. Clean up their mess. Oh, we're going to have lots of soil now. Yep. Yeah, I need to find more islands. There's only so many things you can uh, you can swipe with the scythe to make, uh, make uh, feed out of. So, that is still wrong. Hmm. I gotta figure that one out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.